Halloween's coming, so I thought I'd better put the Revo Point Mini to good use and scan some pumpkins. I found this lovely little pumpkin in the supermarket, just perfect for what I wanted. First thing to do is give it a spray with this special Applime Disappearing Scanning Spray. It gives it this sort of white matte appearance, uh, which is much better for these blue, sort of blue light scanners. This is Revo Scan, and we're just starting the scan, high accuracy feature mode. You can see I've got it on the turntable, a little pumpkin. We're starting the scan. The green areas are what it's scanning, the blue is what it's already scanned. And you just let it go round for one revolution. So I'm sort of aiming down on the top of it at this point, picking up the detail of the stalk. Really nice shape, this pumpkin. And then uh, once that's done, I move the scanner down at a lower angle. So we're getting more of the side and the underside. It went red for a moment there because it had lost track, but then it immediately found itself and was able to combine the scan we'd just done with this fresh scan. Eventually, I end up with this point cloud of the upper part of the pumpkin. Just fusing the point cloud using maximum settings for this and once that's done I import it into Revo Studio along with the scan of the bottom half of the pumpkin which I did in exactly the same way. So we've got the top on the left and the bottom on the right. Using Revo Studio I can combine the uh, point cloud of the top and the bottom to make one whole pumpkin point cloud. It's very clever. Here I'm just detecting for overlaps. And you can see they sharp in red and we delete those. It just simplifies the uh, model. And here I'm checking for isolated islands of points. These are anomalies that get thrown up either by reflection or sometimes the scanning spray can do it. You then create the mesh. This takes a little bit of time and I do it on maximum quality setting and I've got it to fill the holes as well. And there it is, that's the final pumpkin mesh ready for exporting. You can see how well that's come out, it's absolutely amazing. It just I find this uh, 3D scanning fascinating. Really satisfying to do. So export the model and here it's on my iPad in Nomad Sculpt and I'm just uh, smoothing down a few rough bits. Sometimes the scanning spray will give a slight textured appearance but it's very easy just to smooth this. Here you go. All nice and shiny like the original. I then transfer it over into Shaper 3D and I flatten the base in Shaper 3D because it was a little bit rocky, a little bit knobbly, so I've just flattened it off a little bit. It's now in Mesh Mixer, and I use Mesh Mixer to hollow it out. I'm trying to uh, generate the correct wall thickness to make it look like a carved pumpkin. It's a lot less messy uh, hollowing it out this way rather than using knives and spoons. You get this sort of ghost image back into Shaper 3D just to demonstrate how hollow it is. And then there was a lot of designing going on in Shaper 3D, creating shapes. So eventually I end up with this sort of funnel shape which is 0.1 of a millimetre thick. And I uh, remove that from the pumpkin, I subtract that from the pumpkin STL. And what that does is it separates the lid and it allows a little bit of play so the lid comes on and off. And here I can show the different bodies being separated so I can show it with and without the lid. Next job was to create this simple face which was quite easy to do. So what I do is I move the pumpkin body back a bit to give me a bit of space. And what I'm then going to do is uh, 
sort of copy the face and shift it back a bit. I'm reducing the size or the scale of the face and then using the loft tool I can join all these shapes up to create tapered shapes. This gives a nice perpendicular cut to the surface of the pumpkin, makes it look more realistic. So here are those shapes embedded into the pumpkin. And then we can uh, select the pumpkin as the uh, body we're going to keep. And select each of those face shapes as the bodies we're going to remove. And using the subtract tool, you can uh, take them away. You can then delete the shapes or hide them. And there's the finished bumpkin, all ready to be printed. So the first print I did was going to be a filament print. So it's over to the slicer. This is Cura slicer. Just making sure all my settings are right. And there it is, sliced ready. A few hours later, printed out on the Creality S1 Pro. I printed this out at double speed because I've got the new uh, Sonic pad, which makes quite a big difference. There it is. I wasn't too happy with the proportions and those internal supports were an absolute so-and-so to remove. To fix the face, I put it back into shape of 3D and just reversed what I'd done and then enlarged those face shapes and subtracted them again. And here it is in Cheetu box, all sliced, ready for resin printing. You can see different sorts of supports for resin printing, much easier to remove as well. Much happier now with the proportion of the face. I've reprinted it in the filament too. The original pumpkin's beginning to uh, look a bit sorry for itself now, but very happy with the result. Well, happy Halloween everyone. It's almost Halloween and I've been having more fun with my Revo Point Mini Scanner. This thing is awesome. Once you get the hang of it and master it, the results you can get are phenomenal. I've been scanning pumpkins, little baby ones like this. Perfectly formed little baby pumpkins. And they scan really nicely with a bit of um, scanning spray. So I've been using the AppLime scanning spray. This was my first design. I felt the uh, face was a bit small, so I uh, redesigned it. There he is, much better proportion, lid comes off, also did one in purple and a resin one in white. This was the second pumpkin I scanned, slightly more uniform shape and this is what I produced from it, different face on this one, this is printed out in resin. And I'll put all my designs online if you want to download them and have a go at printing them yourselves. I've had some great fun with the scanner and I've even scanned some more skulls. I scanned a, a little crocodile skull and I produced this resin print from it. And as you can see I've been experimenting with Hypershift Chameleon paint. I love this stuff, the results are just stunning. There's the Badger Skull, also done in Hypershift. I bought it off eBay and it's aerosol paint. Absolutely brilliant. Once again, wishing you all happy Halloween and I'll be back soon with some more projects. Here's a few stills of the finished articles and some of the designs as well. But many, many thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Please like, share and subscribe. And I'll be back soon with some more projects. Here's the second one I did. You can see that printed out in the black resin. 
next to the original pumpkin. Yeah, very colourful little display there. And here's a couple of shots showing that hypershift paint. More rubbish coming soon. Don't forget to check out the links in the description.